Kate, welcome to Buggy Science. I'm Professor TJ. And her sister Nelly Welly. And today we're going to do a fun experiment. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But before we start, let me tell you something about this experiment. If you've ever been tasked with blowing up balloons before a birthday party, you've probably wished that the balloons had a way of inflating themselves. With this simple science experiment, you can make that wish come true. This is what we will require. Vinegar, balloons, a funnel, a plastic bottle, a spoon, and baking soda. And remember kids, always have an adult present as you're doing this experiment. Safety first, certainly. Now you ready? Yes. You ready to start? Yes. So let's open our bottle. And then I'll give you the vinegar uh -huh. and pour it into the bottle. Mm -hmm. Cool. Now I'd like you, let me close it for you. Now I'd like you to pick a balloon. Any balloon. Uh -huh. And then using our funnel, yeah. we'll pause, put it in. You see? Yes. Okay. Then using our funnel, I'll take some baking soda and put two spoons in. Shake it until it's all inside. Is it all in? No. Yes! Go. It's all inside. Fantastic. Then, I want you to stretch out the mouth of the balloon uh -huh. and cover it over the mouth of the bottle. So stretch it completely and cover it over. Fantastic. Now let's just make sure it's all the way. Okay, fantastic. Now let's do a countdown. Uh -huh. Three, two, one. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So three, two, one, flip it over. And the secret of this experiment lies with the vinegar and baking soda, two common household materials that when combined create carbonic acid. Carbonic acid breaks down into water and carbon dioxide. This experiment uses carbon dioxide to fill the balloons, giving the illusion that the balloon is self-inflating. I hope you at home were able to do this experiment. This is all we have for you today. See, See you next time on Funky Science. Bye!